Liza Soberano immerses in Korean culture for 18 days wants to join Korean entertainment. Ano daw ba nangyayari sa Hollywood at bakit napunta sa Korea itong si Liza Soberano? Liza Soberano on digital talk show Liza in Korea. It's really created for the fans so they can see the fun side of me and just have something to look forward to in the meantime habang hindi pa po lumalabas ang mga movies and TV shows ko. Ah, yun naman pala habang hindi pa lumalabas ang mga movies niya and TV shows niya. For the meantime, gagawin mo na siya ng uh, creator creators creation sa YouTube channel. Uh, featuring Korean entertainment ganon. Decide dito si Liza Sobrano 25 na mag-aaral ng salitang Korean dahil gusto raw niyang pasukin ang Korean entertainment kung mabigyan ng oportunidad. I can speak a little now because I kept coming back to you often. I'm doing lessons with their language. I'm really taking it seriously because honestly, I of course I feel like it's any actor's dream to be in a Korean drama or be in a movie here in Korea. I personally consider Korea to be the next Hollywood or if not already the new Hollywood. They're making so much noise in entertainment by Agnelisa. Dagdag ng actress, of course, it's an honor to be part of that and my only downfall is I can't speak Korean fluently. So I've actually met with a lot of production companies, a lot of agents and managers and they're having an interest. Pero sabi nila, balikan ko sila kapag nakakapagsalita na ako ng Korean. Nakausap ng pep of uh, Philippine Silaisa sa pamamagitan ng Zoom noong 13 ng Setyembre at dito niya ikulinto ang bago niyang travel show sa YouTube na tila naka-inspire sa kanya na mas aralin ang Korean Entertainment. Tampok si Lisa sa travel show na Liza in Korea na mapapanood sa YouTube channel ng PHH TV. Hindi lang pamamasyal ang magagandang uh, sa magagandang destinasyon sa Land of the Morning Come or the Morning Come ang ipapakita ni Liza kundi pati ang pakikipagpakilala niya sa ilang or sikat na personalidad sa entertainment industry doon. Nagsimula na ang show noong September at 13 at may lalabas na bagong 10-minute episode tuwing Merkulis alas 8 ng gabi. Ayon kay Liza, ang Korean production company na JJ Global ang nag-produce ng YouTube series niya. niya. Nakilala raw niya ang kumpanya sa actually for a Filipina celebrity to collaborate. It started po last April for filming and I was in Korea for 18 days lahat ng dalaga. Before the filming, tinanong po nila ako kung ano ang mga gusto kong ma-experience at gawin sa Korea. And I gave them a list of things that I wanted to do of or people that I want to meet and they based the whole series around that. Matutunghayan sa proyekto ang fun side ni Liza habang hindi pa raw niya muli um, bangat hindi pa raw siya muli mapapanood sa TV or pelikula. But there is also another side. They also want to introduce Korean culture through the land of Korean locals via Filipino celebrities. So we just wanted to break up between culture. Kaya enjoy daw ni Liza Soberano ang paggawa ng uh, ang paggawa ng Liza in Korea dahil uh, likas sa hilig niya ang Korean entertainment. Actually daw, the first time I was introduced to Korea culture and entertainment was when I was 10 or 11 when I first got to the Philippines. O diba? That was my first time to explore different types of entertainment from different countries and it so happened that Korean entertainment was the one that sparked my interest to K-pop. I became a huge fan of Girls' Generation, Super Junior, 2 and 1, so my second gen K-pop I think well, was a little bit too early for K-pop at that time. Talagang bumibili pa raw si Liza ng merchandise ng mga paborito niyang K-pop stars. May panahon naglalaylo siya pero ayon kay Liza, hindi na wala ang interest niya sa Korean entertainment. Nanood siya ng Tagalog dubbed Korean drama sa ABS-CBN tulad ng The Boys of Her Flowers in 2009 at My Girlfriend is a Gumiho in 2010. And then around two, uh, 2018, I believe that the, I rekindled my interest with Korean entertainment through BTS, Momoland, and Blackpink. Aminado ang dalaga na si Liza Sobrano sa napakaraming content na based sa Korea ang napapanood sa internet pero sinagurado niya na kakaiba ang i-offer niya 
sa Liza and Korea. Ang maganda pa ang maganda po kasi sa series na ito, like I've said earlier, I was taken to places that are popular among the locals and not the tourist key spots. So I didn't go to the usual new traditional Korean some Korean fusion dishes that are more modern paliwanag ng dalaga. Patuloy niya, you will not only get a better understanding of the culture, but you will also see a different side. Kasi I met a lot of different people and you'll get to see a lot of types of entertainment and you'll get to see an interaction between a Filipino and a Korean celebrities of Korean business people. Ano ang natutunan niya sa kanyang immersion sa Korea? Ano nga ba ang natutunan mo? Liza sa immersion mo sa Korea. Aba? Uh, maraming bagay, syempre yan. So, pero, ah, uh, Ah, ano bang natutunan ng dalaga? Ang sabi dito, um, oh, so I didn't go for the usual places, yung sabi niya, at ang um, natutunan niya. And they will always say, uh, Siyempre, it's my first time working with a Korean production company. There's a bit of a little language barrier. And they will always say fighting or they will say things in Korean and translate, they will tr translate it to me. When you translate it in English, it doesn't sound as good in, in Korean. For example, there's this famous saying that they do before filming like, you better do good today. Of course, if someone say it, it's like shouting, you'll think like, am I not going a good job? Am I not giving my best? But actually in Korea, that's how they encourage people. That's actually a good thing if they're saying that to you. It's like I'm praying that you'll do a good job, that you'll be happy. But when you translate it in English, it sounds scary. Na tong sabi ng dilag. Nakapag uh, napagtantuan daw ni Liza na uso sa Korean entertainment, ang mga super cute and super bubbly sa camera. Also realized whenever I watch like Korean variety show and the behind the scenes moment, I always see the girls na super cutie, super bubbly. They almost uh kind of like look like little girls almost so I'm like it's the Korean rea really like that so even with me there's a different side of me na funny in the series I'm almost like a little girl because they have find that very endearing when girls are bubbly happy smiling all the time and that and I think it's the same in the Philippines we like happy girls saad ng dilag aminado sila yung sabi ano na naiba sa kanya yun and yeah but then also I felt, I felt kind of awkward about it because I'm 25 you know I'm not a little girl anymore uh, but they said Korean find it endearing aba kung yan ang hinahanap nila barang bagay yata si may maintrata dito bubbly happy and very uh, accommodating and smiling all the time pero sabi ni super negatrona Si Liza Bog from ABS-CBN, a listed Korean content vlogger, a good career move, ang nangyari sa Hollywood. Ano daw ba ang nangyari sa Hollywood? Ang sabi ng mga netizens about this, still sad talaga sa nangyari sa kanya. Hi, skin pa naman ako. Ako rin naman, sayang talaga siya. Sabi nun na River, hi, my love ko ang Liskin. Love you too. Aba. Sabi ni Lor, may you guys make it seem there's competition. Can people choose a different path? Why the constant bickering and bullying? You all are nasty. When a time comes in your life where you want growth and more exposure for yourself, I hope people uh, around you don't tease and pull you down. Sabi naman ni Liz again on my mind, I have fun watching her content. I was actually smiling the entire time. If that's not a superpower, I don't know what it is. BTW, stop calling her names. That's bullying. Bullying is wrong. Ayun. Sabi naman din, do you know how much a vlogger earns? She makes use and manage her time productively through endorsements and vlogs. Offering um, educational venue for not only... I didn't know how much a blogger earns. She makes use and manage her time productively through endorsement and vlogs, offering educational venue for not only Filipino K drama and keep up loving audience and Korean culture, business, entertainment, tourism, etc. While Sang Afra is on strike. Sabanamani and without E.
Bakit siya kailang ibuli? Wala naman siyang masamang ginawa. She tried and if it's true that she failed sa goal na gusto niya, ano naman kung mag-try siya sa iba, di ba? Sakto din, tama din naman talaga. So, dahil na narinig na, na, ko, medyo na-fake yata siya dun, dun sa uh, manager niya na bagong sinamahan with uh, James Reed. Aba, why not... Uh, K-drama kasi nandun na rin, di ba, yung ibang mga Pilipino artist at nagkipagsapalara na sa Korea. So, if she wants to learn um, the language of Korean and wants to be one of those K-pop artists na talagang uh, magkakaroon ng pangalan sa buong mundo, why not? O, di ba, that's that's it. Let's just be happy for her because she's trying uh, her best to make her own fame. Uh, by all means na pwede niyang magamit. Alexander Lexter Jules, good luck, Miss Liza Soberano. Uh, you are still the most beautiful Filipina actor and actress or actress in the Philippines. Don't be worry about that. Alexander Lexter Jules, magandang umaga po.